Hello tech skiers, technical take home challenge mark the beginning of most of the technical interview process. It is a very important phase as it is a filtering round. I failed many tech dream jobs in the roles of DevOps, SRA, cloud position because of mistakes that I have been doing while taking my tech home assignment. I have also reviewed many tech home assignments during my career. And let me tell you, most of the tech engineers make those same mistakes in their tech home assignment. In today's video, I'm going to share with you four mistakes that I've been doing when you avoid those mistakes. Your assignment will shine and you rock to the next stage of interview process. Mistake number four over engineering the task i was adding more use cases features on top of the standard required use cases and features so making the task more complex and inefficient and difficult thinking that i am adding more points you know little did i know that you know i'm digging my own grave so i was not putting myself in the shoes of a fellow engineer who was going to review such a complicated solution then one day i asked myself but ben do you prefer a well ordered nice architect design that solve an issue or an over-engineered solution. So I started to use KISS method, keep it stupid and simple, to build a well-ordered nice architecture and things started to look better. So as the fellow engineer will be reviewing my take home assignment, I have very little time you know, to review and to evaluate the solution. I want you to know that over-engineering the solution can make you fail your take home assignment by trying to show off how much you know and what you can do you know although it sounds great you know to show off your technical skills the result is often the opposite because over engineering often lead with uh, additional complexity mistake number three misunderstanding the assignment oh yes i was interpreting the take home wrongly just by failing to ask clarification questions this directed me to fail most of my take home assignment you know making assumption was common mistake that was uh, leading me to solve the wrong problem i was afraid you know you know to ask thinking that when i ask they would think that i don't know what i'm doing or i'm not understanding you know the problem at all so my advice to you do not hesitate to contact the recruiter to ask for clarification questions which are not clear for for you to tackle the task if you have any questions so i have noticed that asking the right questions can be another jump step closer to getting hired <laughs> even before you start you know working on the project don't forget uh part of the devil's principle is communication as you communicate with the recruiter to get more clarification if needed you are showcasing you know those skills so it's a plus for you let your interviewer know that you you don't jump into an architecture design or an automation task you know as cloud or devops without knowing which direction you are headed the same goes for anything you find confusing or not clear in the instructions of your take home assignment another point you know that i have for you is part of what you're being measured on maybe your ability to find out you know gaps in the requirements or to gauge how many assumptions you can make so don't be afraid to ask a qualifying question mistake number two not including the read me or a poor read me i was not delivering my my project with read me included you know when it was included it was very poor i was not taking it seriously as i was doing while working on the real solution and it costed me so much please you know that the read me is the first thing review engineers will mostly check into your solution a read me is a guide for your project so helping the review engineers you know to find everything they need to know about the task at high level they can still figure out your solution without the readme but it is not a great experience explain the following in your readme whenever applicable the assumptions how to set up and make the solution to get it up and running problems you encountered and how you tackled them performance and the space requirement for the task 
list of tools used, next steps to make the solution better, decisions and trade-offs. Mistake number one, not having an external pair of eyes. After doing my task, you know, my take home, I was just clicking the same button without the second eye reviewing. Here's an common opinion to, to get your home task reviewed before, you know, you submit it. But wait, is it not this cheating? Let me know in the comment section. I don't think this is cheating, you know. I have done other uh, work and now I just want someone senior or my friend to check if there's something that needs to be, you know, to be adjusted. As you know, you know, the best software or a solution is not produced by a single superstar engineer. It's achieved you know, with, with the teamwork and collaboration. So getting your task to be reviewed can save yourself from simple and obvious mistakes such as uh, leaving unused components or a big mistake such as failing you know to understand the task requirements please don't hesitate to ask a friend or a close mentor to review your solution before submit as an external pair of eyes can help you to discover issues that you are too blind to see because you are so familiarized with them so also an external review allows you know to get feedback about the first impression of your assignment is it readable <laughs> maybe you need to include more description in the read me you know, thank you so much for watching this video up to this end i hope it was useful if it was don't forget to like it and as always keep on skiing in the tech world